This is a hot record. Just wait till they get through all this. It's gonna be wild. It's good. I, I, I used to play this. I would play this on my controller over and over and over. And over. Yeah, this one has a big sax. Very. Hot towel. That's the last stuff. Turn this one up a little. Here's what we'll be trying this hour. Uh, yes. What's that? Find a mold ginger. Have you tried that? Alcoholic. It's so it's basically ginger flavored near beer. Um, and, and some of this. Castapan wafers. Castapan? They look kind of like Fig Newtons. Yeah, they do. Ted, uh, did you know Fist Williams was the black Ted Lewis? I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting tired of looking at these cups all the time. Yeah, that's, that's I expensive. know it. <laughs> How much do they charge for that? About five bucks. Yeah. For what? For a can of air. Oh, oh yeah, the no. dusty stuff. It's expensive yeah. stuff. The, uh, the, the drink is from either Jamaica or Trinidad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure it's like West Indian and they're into like the, the hot stuff. Yeah. I like hot ginger beer, the non alcoholic yeah, stuff. I mean, like, um, the, the malt, those malt. Oh, let me get the date on there. Like those. One of the official Pronto likes orchestras because he was actually Chris Williams' royal flush orchestra. <laughs> just too bad he always wore a white suit. <laughs> that couldn't end, that couldn't end good. And we're back for our number three of our Texas Record Collectors Party broadcast from Waco, Texas, where the Radio Dispute Mobile Studio has traveled down I-35. We are here in Waco with Matt from College Station, Matt Tolentino from Dallas, who is the uh, band leader for the Singapore Slingers. We're at the residence of Eddie the Collector. And I'm the fellow who only has but one name, Dismuke. Mm -hmm. And we're playing lots of great records. And the one you just heard right there was Fess Williams and his Royal Flush Orchestra. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be an official uh, band for the Radio Dismuke if I can ever land that. You know, I'm trying desperately to get a big laxative company like Pronto Lax <laughs> to uh, sponsor as the you know so I can run Pronto Lax commercials. You know that horrible Lawrence Welk program of the 1970s. <laughs> A uh, real weird 70s version of old music. They used to advertise Saratan, which, as well pointed <laughs> out, was nature's spelled backwards. And who wants a backward laxative? You want something forward and progressive like Pronto Lax. Be a regular guy, and it's a real smooth move. And for all the regular see, listeners. That's right, for all the regular <laughs> listeners. And, you know, if the, if the execs at the laxative company would just hear my little uh, commercials for them, they would spend the big bucks to sponsor Radio Dismuke, and we could make the uh, Royal Flush Orchestra. The, uh, a metamusical. A metamusical, <laughs> yes. That's right. So, yeah, so hint, hint, folks at Pronto Lax. Um, in with the good, out with the bad. See, I can come up with great stuff. There you go. Yeah, smooth move. Well, what's next on the... <laughs> What's cool. next on <laughs> what what's next on her uh, What's next on or off the plate? I'm playing another v Brunswick. Deep Henderson's always been one of my favorites and this is the one on Brunswick by Charlie Strait and his orchestra. Nice. Matt is back on the turntable now. 
Number two, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go super saccharine on, on the next one. You just have to be careful with that other product out there called Bromo Lax. <laughs> you know, they go out and say they're just as good as Pronto Lax, but they're only four pennies a cheap, cheaper per bottle. Mm -hmm. So all these people are going out and buying because it's four pennies cheaper per bottle. As far as price, Pronto Lax can't lower their price, and so they've been forced to send out these four cents off coupons. And the problem is people are forging the four cents off coupons. <laughs> Even though it costs more than four cents to do it, <laughs> it's a bad thing. But the problem with that stuff is it clogs you up. Here you go. Instead of mineral water, Water crystals. It's made out of uh, it's made out of ready-mixed concrete surplus. So uh -oh. it'll clog your intestines. Bad stuff. Yeah. Can you get that All thing right under the chair? That's the thing I looked product. and looked and looked mm -hmm. for right there. Oh. You back to the <laughs> Thank you. So what are you going sacred on this way? Uh, or blue wax, Columbia. Henry King and his orchestra. Oh, that's not that bad. He can go sacred. He can go saccharine sometimes. I would have another saccharine one picked out. <laughs> but Henry, Henry, King, Henry King's a good one. Watch out, because I might have something up my sleeve. Huh. <laughs> so what's next? Are you playing accordion or record? We won. Yeah. What would you guys like? Are you doing that right after the song? Uh, well, after whenever it's Oh, because I'm doing uh, Henry King and then. then my, yeah. Okay, okay you're in the rotation you're talking about. Yeah, who's next? I'm next. Yeah, in the rotation. It's up to you, whatever. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I, accordion the record, it, it works for me. They're both. Actually, the the accordion is even more novel because we've never had live before on, on Radio Disney. Right. Yeah, it's also a good chance to plug yourself. So plug yourself away. In fact, if you want. Um, and that kind of fits in with the lax stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, make sure if you if you make yourself a commercial when you have your website, he can space it in between every hour, you know, and it'll be, I think it'll be a big draw. Yeah, if nothing else, you can at least uh, give your email if people want to be right. on their email address. You can yeah. that. Just think about it. If, if people had good taste in music, your band would be as popular as the Backstreet Boys. It's true. You know, you'd be making what is the Backstreet Boys? Yeah. The Backstreet Boys, they're a boy band from the from the 90s. Kids down the street. Yeah. Down the street. Or NSYNC. Who uh, I like to refer to as NSYNC. I don't even know what it is. NSYNC. 